Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, maybe good evening, depends where you are and when you're watching my video. I'm delighted to welcome you back to my YouTube channel and today we will do some art journaling, but uh, we're not gonna have any timer today, we're not gonna have rush or any specific theme. We will just create. I grabbed my junk journal, as you can see. By the way, this junk journal video is on my channel. I can give you the link at the end of this video. A junk book made from old book and all sorts of pages, leftovers, music notes, some washi, uh, paper bags, anything and everything was included here. I'm happy to give you the link of course. I've done some page already, video is on this as well and on this one too. So what we're gonna do today? I'm thinking I prepared some pretty napkin with a butterfly. Hello, of course it's a butterfly. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, I, I do like the watercolor one, <clears throat> which is here, and I'm thinking to maybe, maybe work with it here. Mm, I also have those pretty papers from Jane Davenport, mixed media papers, very thick, very nice, and I'm thinking to maybe use it, maybe incorporate that somewhere into my page that is already, <laughs> that already started. Oh, I have some leftovers here, I can surely use them. Why not? That's nice. <clears throat> and something else. Something else that could nicely fit in our today's project. What else? Because there is so many beauties <laughs> in here that it's very hard to ah, decide, decide which to and such a shame to, to rip apart the pages. But yeah, that's what we have. So I'm going to I think start off by adding them pages here and there. Mm, I think I will start by adding some paper to my page. <clears throat> it's early morning, <laughs> super early morning, so my voice didn't wake up yet. <laughs> uh, do you have the same, that your voice is quite strange early morning? <laughs> uh, I'm using Pritt stick, just a simple glue. I'm not bothered with uh, all the edges to be really precisely sticked. No, we can, you know, have things sticking out. And I'm kind of making like a collage without really very much um, planning yet. I am thinking to leave some sort of space somewhere along the line for my butterfly, <clears throat> but who said maybe I will I won't use the butterfly at all today? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. It depends how the page will go and how will I feel about it. So I like that super much. Very pretty. Um I am thinking why not to use some some um uh, ah puncher maybe like a circle punch. And we, maybe we could have a bit of fun here with the edges being a little different than ordinary. Same for the circles to be just different. <laughs> things that are different are good. I love things that are different, although they're not easy to love for some. And it takes time to fall in love with different things. But you can. It can happen that, you know, you decide that, yeah, I like the fact that this is different and you and you will fall in love and, and things. So, I, I am gonna have this circle here, maybe. There we go. How nice is that already? Nice background. So, I'm pr preparing the background uh, in order to then work somewhere around here. I'm not too very sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll draw a face instead. Hmm, how is that? Maybe that would be nice. Instead of going for easy option butterfly, I can maybe do some drawing, doodling. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's an option. What about this circle, but also have 
this on the page somewhere. Yeah. As you can see, I also have pencils. We have never, I think, used pencils. I never did video with pencils, I think. So I grabbed that purposely today. I wish to use them, so... Wouldn't that be more sense if I have, like, a clean page that I can just go around the edges? That's just me. Yeah, that's better. I can take that. <laughs> Move this. Okay. How will I go about that? Or this? Or this way? Or maybe this way. Why not? Why not? There we go. I like that. Mm -hmm. And I think the circle could go somewhere there, but maybe not so obvious. Maybe... she has earphones on it's not the nicest weather today so she's not outside yet she may go but I don't know she may decide not to and tomorrow it's Henya's birthday so we're gonna make a cake today well uh, I'm not a baker I actually have no experience in making cakes but I will make an apple pie or something like that that's the plan anyway and we have all the ingredients and yeah and we have we have some time today so that's the plan to do the um, I like that to do maybe it is gonna be just abstract I don't know but you see you can use the papers I use beautiful Jane Davenport papers since simply because I haven't used them uh, because many of you have them has them have them yeah, you do have them and simply because you have been asking me asking to use certain things that I purchased months ago and I never used them so that's the reason but you can use all those paper bits could be anything and everything you know I hope you do know that it doesn't matter what I'm using you pr please do use what you have of course as you can see like what's the main thing that you see on this page they are all from some sort of family colors the purples and blues and pinks and tealish you know tealish they are from pinkish purplish shishish family so they are all from one happy color family and that's why it's easier to maneuver it with elements because if you're gonna start picking up your bits and pieces papers that are all from all sorts of colors of course, if you experienced, you will end up with something special, most definitely. But if you're just learning, I suggest, but not even for everyone, like family colors, the color wheel thing, which I never use, I only use my eye and I use my instinct and intuition to color choices. But you can easily see that they will match together and they're very happy together. So that's my suggestion for you, my friends. Use family colors and today when you will be picking and finding out beautiful bits and pieces for your page, uh, just pick colors that would be from the same family. That way they're not gonna clash and, blah, 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 and be angry at each other. And that way when you start doodling and adding colors and stuff like that, you're not gonna feel bad because then you will go for watercolor, let's say pencils or paints in the same family color again. So then the whole process become much easier to understand and to follow up. I hope, I hope that makes sense now. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking. I love that. It's gonna be abstract. I can see this now miles away and I absolutely adore it. Absolutely adore it, what I see. It's gonna be sensational. I can feel it. I can absolutely feel it. We're gonna end up with abstract page, but love it. Loving it. Love it. We will love it. Um, Again, something interesting, uh, not interesting, but some bit of knowledge for you. Most definitely when you are um, not too sure about what to do, what, 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 
what sort of subject to choose. Circles are good. Go for circles or flowers or butterflies, easy subjects. Circles are good, easy to work with, Not nothing really complicated about them. And I am, I'm, I probably could say I'm very much experienced crafter, but I still would go for things that I enjoy the most, which for example would be working with circles. And my stencils as well, as well were circles. Oh, maybe we could use my stencils. I forgot, I keep on forgetting I have them. <laughs> So, yeah, maybe we could do that. I don't know. We will see. We will see. I love that for now. A magic of colors. I love that. I'm thinking... I had my small state, uh, small uh, puncher with small circle, but I can't find it. It's probably somewhere. So maybe I'll just grab another half. If I don't have the, the smaller cir circle, maybe I just grab half. Maybe this kind of way so I can just arrange something extra there, something else. I don't know. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> uh, I love working with page that, well in general I just love creating and not knowing where we're gonna go with it. It's just so much fun. I find it so much fun. No, this goes here and it's perfect. And as you can see, to, I'm not rushing today, I'm taking my time. God knows how long will be the video, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, so I love, I love a door just trying out and finding out ways. What else, what else could be done? I like that. Oh, maybe, maybe like this. This circle is asking to be kind of there so I think we can call it done in a way um, uh, what I will do I'm gonna clear just so that now and then we will start maybe adding some color I I think so I think so or we could work with the color right now pencils let's start Maybe let's just start. Oh, that's a nice color. That's a nice color. Believe it or not, I have never, ever, ever, ever used them before. Crazy, isn't it? Now, I'm going to grab some watercolor and that water, but brush, brush uh, and see. Since they are watercolor uh, pencils, they should react with water, yeah? And they do a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what I will do now, I'm gonna... That's like brownish a bit. I thought it's more peach, uh, more purplish. But that's okay. What about this one instead? Or mix both? We can mix both, can't we? So I'm going around the edges and just trying to trying to add some water that, hmm, doesn't do much favor <clears throat> maybe I'm doing it wrong or something eh, just a tiny movement not much I wouldn't say <clears throat> hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna end up uh, with the watercolors themselves <laughs> And I think this will be the best option because this doesn't move here anywhere. Um, let me just grab some. Let me just grab some other brush, maybe a stronger brush. Nah. And it's watercolor paper actually underneath it, so I don't know what to say. That's okay. That's okay. We can finish off and do the do some coloring and. <clears throat> We can finish off um, with the pen pencils, but for now we can just yeah play around with watercolors for now anyway. <laughs> yeah, 
I can hear Emily a little bit, she's moving. <laughs> Means she is here. She's here. Now. Oh, we can actually color it a little bit. Yeah. And just see what will happen. I love that set of pastels uh, from Prima. They called Pastel Dreams. I love that set very much. <coughs> mm -hmm. Loving it. So I'm trying to somehow incorporate my um, my circles and my paper elements with my background and with the painting that is already there color wise and you know trying to kind of blend in everything and working nicely together and make them feeling as in loving family so that's the idea for now um, and if you ask me how do I know it my answer will be I don't I kind of you know I'm just I'm very much and I I recently realized um, ask when I was asked so many different questions from you why this why that and I literally could not find the answer and I could see that the lack of answer is because I I didn't know the answer I didn't know the answer because many things I do I don't I don't know why I'm doing them I think it's just because I have practiced so much and because I've tried so many things that it just become some sort of easier for me to do certain things and I do things intention uh, unintentionally uh, or intuitive so like now I'm just I'm just trying to ma match them all of them nicely together and loving each other kind of so I'm playing with colors that wouldn't kill the picture so I'm choosing pinks I'm choosing purples uh, and I I'm, I'm, I will choose some sort of tealish color from different palettes not from here I think so as you can see I am trying to I should grab some water and it's there so I'm trying to kind of um, add nice colors and just give them a chance to be together here and that's kind of how I see it that's it um, oh that's nice everything will look different when we outline things and we will outline nicely things it'll be interesting to see the outline part and shading and all so it'll be interesting shading our abstract I think it would be super super nice so from page that I've planned to do butterfly on <laughs> to draw face to do abstract circle yeah where is the brain guys where is that going so I hope you have some punch at home if you don't you can punch uh, you can just cut out the um, cut the the circles or I don't know squares whatever you desire so that way you can have your own um, design I love that I do love that I'm gonna move this away mm -hmm. I'm loving that I think I wish for let me grab a different palette which is somewhere or maybe Jane Davenport itself oh yeah that dark this dark we can use for outlining mm-hmm we can do that oh, I can definitely use something from there because going directly from uh, the little place would be too too much but we can certainly add some color from the from the with the water so that's nice I like that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying basically uh, add color everywhere a little bit and make them all happy out here and there. 
bit of blue, a bit of this. Mm -hmm. And I'm not concentrating on outlining my circles yet, not yet, no. This is more to blend in the background color, what we already had with, <coughs> um, with the paper and kind of make that all looking good. Mm -hmm. I was lucky enough that uh, my base was actually watercolor so now it's easy to run the color so you may think for that as well and have a little bit of uh, a little bit of watercolor paper around somewhere I think I'm gonna sneeze now <laughs> I did I did sneeze but I think I camera didn't catch it <laughs> Okay, so we are now gently outlining my circle, just gently, just a touches of color. Mm -hmm. I love probably outlining the most with my charcoal pencils or uh, uh, charcoal or the other one is ink tents as well, I like the ink tents, ink tents, I have them here we may use them today I like to use them and I like to use the uh, charcoal and the other is called oh, let me look, graphite, yeah, graphite uh, pencil as well sorry for my sneezes, I'm sorry very much okay We're getting somewhere, we're going somewhere, <laughs> slowly but surely we're going somewhere, most definitely. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting is to see where things go. Hmm. There we go, so I'm just outlining a little bit, gently, gently with my darkest color <laughs> sorry I should clean my nose better maybe I'm gonna get rid of the super duper harsh lines like a little bit so that way it's there but not that so obvious mm -hmm. I like that. Super. I think I'm gonna grab some tissue, guys. Sorry. Two seconds. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I could hear that I'm talking with nose blocked, so that's no no good to you. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> that I must say that I'm absolutely fun a lover of this ink color. It's called ink in the Jane Davenport palette. I love that color. It's probably the most used. Mm -hmm. I do believe so. So I do love that for sure. So as you can see I am not that precise or anything. No, I'm just going around to see how this is gonna be mm. Mm. I like that well I am in love with this Where, wh however we end up finish this I love it I love the color palette I love the idea of mixing watercolor and paper and some older elements from, I mean, uh, using page that we already started before. I like that. I really like that. So, <laughs> it's not much that I need to love. <laughs> not many things. Oh, or different. It's easy for me to love things. Yeah. <laughs> I love, oops, so many things. So, too many. <laughs> too many. So yes, when you'll be watching this video, I be the 
cooking my apple pie <laughs> and I promise you check my Facebook page and in the comment because I always post the videos on my Facebook page in the comment there will be a photo of the cake okay deal <laughs> cake in my kitchen deal promise I promise you that <clears throat> if by any chance not today definitely tomorrow because it's birthday of Henio the guinea pig so and we have a watermelon for him as well it's a big treat for him <laughs> guinea pig now this looks quite uh, harsh but that's okay don't worry we are gonna work with this harsh now exactly now which is clean my brush and we're gonna go everywhere here and there um, And we're gonna just try to get rid of that a little bit. Not too much because it's okay if some harsh lines are there. Yet again, I'm just gonna repeat myself. We're not here to make perfect page, perfect shading. We're here to play around, experiment and learn from it for the next time. Now. So we're trying to make this less harsh mm-hmm I definitely I prefer to work with my fingers with my hands blending colors and shades so I, when I will do the ink tense maybe I will work with my hands instead my brush I don't know we'll see we'll see mm -hmm. If I be before it dry, if I blend in that while I was painting, not waiting for this to dry, it would be much easier for you to blend the edges. But again, I'm okay with it today. I'm looking forward to the next step and how things will be. So we will need to dry this in two seconds and move on from there. I love it. I love the color scheme here it's quite funny that um, <laughs> only recently I've done circles didn't I <laughs> I think we do more circles uh, like when it's finished finished we kind of do maybe uh, like, like white stampish circles something something we do something else okay okay I think we could easily call this uh, done to dry and to to then take it to a next, next step <laughs> let's dry this my page is dry and we have the ink tense pencils what about if we use them how is this mm. these are extremely inkish <laughs> beautiful but no I think I'm gonna stick with stick with just a pencil my graphite or something let's see oh no <laughs> oh no and of course I have no uh, I have no um, oh, this thing oh walk away go away go away okay well see that's why I prefer to working with my uh, fingers because yeah I have bit better control I don't know I just for me it is just so much better so this is what I will do now I'm gonna try to work around my the edges of my circles mm -hmm. there we go to give them some definition and they will kind of stand out more maybe I'm 
very quiet, am I? <laughs> I'm concentrating right now. <laughs> I love seeing this. I like that. And I'm already thinking, what to the next? What could look great? Well, definitely some white, isn't it? We're missing some sort of white. We need some white in this family color. That's for sure. We need some white. Oh, this wasn't dry, I think, fully. So, oh, it wasn't because I tried ink tents there. That's okay. That's okay. We will love that part as well. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> I always love the shading uh, with the pencil. That's my favorite of all. Shadowing, shading, shadowing, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> we can do some edges of the paper as well. Oops. Mm -hmm. I like that. This is moving <laughs> everywhere. You can't hear it, but I can hear Henyo <laughs> eating. Okay, I like that. I like that. Oh no! Too heavy hand. <laughs> Believe or not, I don't have the rubber. All my rubbers, rubbers are gone. <laughs> Guess guess who has them? <sighs> of course, Miss Emily. <sighs> no, <laughs> that's fine. I'm gonna dry this bit. I'm thinking to color it a little bit. I have a beautiful purplish color here. So to to make the very darkish kind of um side of my circle i'm thinking to add maybe the ink tents here and there uh huh because we will try to make the bubble kind of stand out more and to be more 3d dimensional um and that will and that will just bring this to life more so as you can see I'm trying to go with my ink tents <laughs> if you can see those uh, sorry, those three circles versus those you can see how different a little bit is when you have the edges here a bit darker and it does look nice it does look nice and it brings you this uh, kind of um, yeah the 3d effect basically <sighs> mm -hmm. super what about if we try a different color like this one this one is super dark blue. That looks nice. We can add a little bit of that blue here as well and blend in with our fingers. Oh. Pencil just fall down, fell down. Super. What about this one? I 
I feel like an elementary school coloring <laughs> but that's so nice I haven't done that for oh, many many years many many years now circles motions So we're working for the darker feel to our uh, circle. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh, that doesn't stick. That's okay. We we can redo it. Re. re Restick it. Restick it. There we go. That's okay. We can do the same here. And here <clears throat> you can tell I'm very concentrated. I say not much today, don't I? I think so. <laughs> I think so. I love that. That looks great. Now we will add in a second the white, which gives us a better def definition then, and everything kind of will look different then. And better. Most definitely better. Mm -hmm. I think I'm missing a little bit of blue here. Hmm. It's not easy to blend in them dry. It's much easier to blend in when they're wet. But I've added quite a lot of pigment, so I worry that the moment I add water, I'm gonna have it so dark. Unless I chance it and see. We can try. Oh, wait. Baby wipe. I wet. Baby wipe, how is that? Yeah, baby wipe would, would activate this nicely. Mmm, look at that, how pretty is this? Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, <laughs> I love it. And the harsh lines of pencil, they kind of seems to disappear more. Wow. Planets. <laughs> wow. I love that. I hope you can see the same as I, me, as me on the camera, that the camera is picking up this correctly. Wow. Wow, all I can say is wow. <laughs> I'm really loving it. I'm impressed now. And look, some small trick how this could change so much and definitely make it interesting looking. And oh wow, I like that. I like that it's so very dimensional now. So, this was a good try. Good. 
Many times you ask me, would something work? I can't tell you without trying, but I always say, encourage you, try it for yourself. It's good to ask me I'm, if I know the answer, help. Or others on the comments, you, uh, my friends that are watching and reading the comments, you sometimes help to answer, not sometimes, a lot of times. So that's great, but the thing is that um, If you will try for yourself, most definitely you will gain some knowledge and you will experiment and that will that will be very nice. Believe me and trust me. Finding out for yourself is great. Now, I love that. Ah, oh, wait till we add the white. It's going to be spectacular. Even more. just a tiny bit here because the circles are halved so just a little bit mm -hmm. that's nice so they're not left without anything mm -hmm. super so what you think Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me what you think. Do you love it as I love it? Because I love it. <laughs> okay, now time for white. Time for some white. Where's my white acrylic paint? And it's here. There we go. Some bit of white. We could add somewhere. Um, let me quickly grab some some brush and oh yeah. one of those maybe would be good or not. One of those I think possibly it will be nice. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, I think my brush is too wide. I need a smaller one. Um, which could be which one? Maybe just the watercolor brush. <laughs> Why not? Oh, that's a smaller one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is interesting to see because uh, there's water inside and it's nice to see this activate a little bit just a little bit so nice okay mm -hmm. now if you don't have the if you don't have the white acrylic you can use Posca pen, you can use gesso, you can use, what else can you use? Anything that's white, <laughs> basically. Anything that's white, that is white, yeah. I'm using the dir dirty fingers, I think. <laughs> That's okay. I like working with my fingers, unfortunately. For me, it's much easier to blend in the color. Just It's just how, how works better for me, I think. <laughs> but everyone is different, so feel free to do your own way. It's like a galaxy nearly. <laughs> we have a bubble galaxy. 
No, I think it's more abstract than anything. <laughs> Oh, gelato. White gelato could work if you have it as well. Now quiet. Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrate. That's it. What am I doing? What happened here? <laughs> what, what just have happened here? I don't know. I have no idea. Oops. I have no idea what happened there, but for some strange reason I can't have the white color there. Anyway, what about if I just use my baby wipe? Maybe a better shape. You see? Baby wipe is good as well. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's wet, so it nicely activates with the paint. Because acrylics are drying very fast indeed, so... There we go. That's nice. I like that. I don't know what happened there, here. I'm tempted to keep it white, but I don't know why is this disappearing from it. I leave it. <laughs> I leave it like that. Okay. <sighs> Abstract circle and how much steps we have to make this nice and 3d dimensional looking isn't it quite a lot of uh, steps I would say to make this nice mm -hmm. I feel that it's only one more circle left which is this one which is this one a little bit and this one. Mm -hmm. I hope you create with me right now. Or at least if you're not creating what I'm doing, that's fine. You're doing something else. You are creative. As long as you are creative, that's great with me. Even being creative for a few minutes a day, it's nice. Draw, doodle, you know, do something small for yourself. Wow, <sighs> that is something, <laughs> I like that, I'm a self-taught, so um, kind of I've never been into college to learn all the shading and I'm still experimenting on my videos or on my own sometimes, so it's nice to kind of, of course, being happy of what we achieved and it's like, oh wow, it is nice, I like that. So, okay, now I do think it would be super nice if we could have some, maybe, smaller, smaller circles. How are we going to go about that? We can use white acrylic, which we dilute a little bit, and... We can, we can stamp it. Let me grab some, let me grab some, oh, it's here, I have it. That could and should be nice. There we go. Now we can quickly, we can quickly, uh, Try to fill this in with white, if we can. So 
so it wouldn't be that empty looking. There we go. Nice. Super. <laughs> there we go. Feel free to play around whatever kind of works best for you. Okay. I will just fill this in gently with my brush just a little bit so <clears throat> so it wouldn't have this feel of emptiness. Mm -hmm. It's more like a bubble I think look than when it's left empty. And as you see, I'm using just the tiny touches of acrylics and my water brush. But use what you have. I'm, I'm glad that we kind of used things today, or started at least, or tried, and that we haven't used for long because <clears throat> We have so many beautiful art tools and we have so little time or we just go with the easiest option oftentimes. So I think this is nice to at least have the attempt of using things and just trying and I love that. I love that. I like that. I love that. I no 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 no. You know me. You know, it's so easy to guess when I like things, when I don't. I, I always says to you out loud. So I do like that now. Extremely like that. I think it's nice. All the shading. So yes, by the way, I'm going to repeat myself like broken CD. <laughs> but I will. If you created something inspired by my video, Please <laughs> let me know. Maybe tag me on your page or tag me or use hashtag Maremi Small Art so that way everyone can see it, not only me, on Instagram especially. That's nice, then we can all see it and enjoy it. Uh, so, yes, hashtag Maremi Small Art, tag me, share it on my Facebook. Marami Small Art and others can see it, what you came up with. That way we can learn from each other. I feel I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> okay, so let's let's finish that. Nothing, Emily. Oops. I'm recording. I'm nearly finished. I think I'm nearly finished. We will see. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's a nice word. I love it. I think that we can do some splashes. What do you think? White splashes? White splashes are always good. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that before? Like million times? Yes. Now, my next video, I thought about it today, that it could be a mail card. What do you think? I haven't done a mail card ever, I think. And I had requests few, few, few times to do so. So I think it would be nice to do mail card. 
uh, inspiration what you think let me know in the comment if that's good card for like a birthday card for a for a male would that be good I think would I think it would I think it would okay I'm looking at it and I'm loving it and it's superb 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 I like that but there would be better if we could have some splashes uh, so let me just add a little more white dilute that with water dilute oh actually is it dilute is that true <laughs> can you believe it Lucas was watching my video because he said you know in your last video you've said this word and he couldn't remember and he went through the whole video to actually point out this how to say dilute not dilute and I said how did you know so it happened that he secretly is watching my videos I think he just never says it he's very shy in showing anything like feelings wise and stuff so <laughs> he I think he's watching my videos but he says nothing and he uh, yeah he pretends he doesn't but he does I think so that's quite funny okay I'm gonna use this brush since I broke my fun brush with on one video with the uh, with the uh, that doesn't work with the um, nail va nail polish <laughs> anyway let's try it has to work at some point yeah there we go I'm sorry for my nose I love that actually you see different brush different little dots have a look and how pretty are those super pretty I love that I love that I hope you will love it as well and I hope you will create something like that <clears throat> I'm sorry for my nose. I can't help it. Okay. I think we're done with those blushes. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? I wonder do we need some title or not? <sighs> or will we just leave it like this abstract piece? I think we leave it like that for a change, no title. Um, yeah. <laughs> There we go, uh, a journal page looking like uh, acrylic painting on a canvas nearly. A uh, bit of paper, bit of paint and drawings and there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun with me. Good time, relaxing maybe for a change. Wasn't that chatty today, isn't it? I was so into it and so concentrating. So. Uh, I hope you like that. I hope you will uh, share it with your friends if you think it's nice and definitely try it for yourself. As I said, this video on how to make the book will be at the end of this video for you and or in the description box below the video. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, actually, did I tell you? Uh, you have even noticed yourself. We hit on this channel 100,000 friends. That's crazy. That's like, wow. This is this is this is that. Like I I can't even tell you what it is. I think it's mental. I think it's crazy. I think it's phenomenal, and I love it. And it didn't happen. It wouldn't happen if not you. The one hundred over one hundred thousand people friends on the channel. It's it's sensational. So thank you so much for for that. I will wrap up at that to upload the video for you so you can have a have a watch and I'll chat to you super soon. I love you. Bye. Bye bye.